and welcome to Train Simulator 2021. My name... Why am I pointing at you guys? I'm supposed to be pointing at me. Why am I pointing at you? My name is Lazy Jet. You're the viewers. Doing a lot of pointing in this video so far. So in today's race, uh, we've got a question that needs to be answered. What is faster? Diesel power? Steam power? Or electric power? Well, that depends. And what better to test this experiment out with some Britain versus American trains? Yes, I thought it would be another fun idea. So representing steam power for Britain, we have the Class A4 Union of South Africa. And representing steam for the Americans, it is, um, I think it's, I think it's a Berkshire. I don't know nothing about American trains at all. But yes, this is a Berkshire steam locomotive, I think that's what it's called. Representing the diesel power for Britain, we have the Class 66. And representing diesel power for America, we have this, which... Actually, I don't even know what this is. Um, I just know for a fact that there's going to be a lot of Americans out there who will hate me for saying that I don't actually know what this diesel is. Um, but you guys are geniuses. I can always rely on you guys to help me. If you guys want to know what this... Well, if you guys know what this this diesel locomotive is, please let me know in the comment section below because basically I haven't got a clue. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can a Class 68 represent electric if it's a diesel loco? Now, I have to be honest, a Class 68 is not an electric locomotive. So why have I decided to put a Class 68 in today's race? Well, to be honest, I've never actually seen a Class 68 in a race before, and I thought today might be an interesting idea. Even though it's not an electric train, it still looks pretty cool, though, because, to be honest, I was trying to find a locomotive that looked very similar to this. The Amtrak ACS 64. And here in Britain, we don't have anything that looks anything like that, so... I decided to choose this, the Class 68, um, to go against the um, the ACS 64. Even though that this is not an electric locomotive, I still think it might have a chance of doing good. I don't know. The thing is, I've never used a Class 68 in a race before, and I thought this might be a cool idea. I, 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 just, I just thought it would be cool. cool. I don't know what you guys think. So in fairness, the only electric train we have today is that. But I wanted to find something similar, though. I mean, they, they, they do look pretty similar, don't they? Okay, I admit, it's not exactly steam, diesel, and electric going head-to-head -head on with, with each other. But, you know, I'm t I, I still think this is going to be a good race. And this is the first time we're actually having a race where the locomotives have some rolling stock. Yeah, so this might make it a bit more interesting. I knew you guys were feeling a bit doubtful for a start. But, no, we actually have some rolling stock I added to this race, so you're probably thinking, oh, hold on, this maybe um, this could be get, come, becoming more interesting. So don't click off this video just yet. And by the looks of it, I think the coaches have bugged out. I think they they don't look they don't look right. Those coaches, they I think they've bugged out because they're supposed to be look like this, but they actually look like that. So Trace Simulator is actually bugged out. Well done, Trace Simulator, for bugging out. So, first things first is that we've got to program these trains. Yes, we do. So, um, because we've got six trains with us, this, uh, this still could be a very interesting race. So, let's get to the programming. Now, the programming could take a very long time, but, you know, that's what programming is all about. But let's hope the game doesn't crash, because, you know, Train Simulator isn't always accurate for me. It does, it does crash sometimes, so we'll just, just st stick to the loading screen and... Just see what happens. If the game crashes, then the game crashes. I'll have to start all over again. Do you know what? It is actually a hot day. I'm going to turn my fan on. And always have water with you. Water is very important. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. I think this water is actually two days old. Blech. Right, let's get stuck in, shall we? So let's go to the programming table. So, uh, engine number two is the Amtrak one. So we'll have that on platform one. And we're going to give all these engines 100% uh, power because I don't know what any of them will do. So we'll just have to wait and see. So engine number three is on platform two. And we'll give you 100% power as well. Engine number four on platform three. This could take a while, but you know, I'm always optimistic when it comes to uh, programming, so that's that done. Now, um, I don't believe that this locomotive is activated yet, so we'll just do that, and then go to engine number seven. Then you're on platform one, two, three, four, five, five. You're on platform five. Uh, engine number seven. I almost almost lost count for a second you're on 100 percent power as well then engine number six is on platform six 
That makes it easier, doesn't it? So we'll give you 100% power as well. And funny enough, that's actually the class 66. So engine number six, class 66, going on platform six. So many sixes. And number five is uh, Union of South Africa, and that will be on platform seven, I believe. Yes, it is. Program you to do 100% power as well. Bosh, that's it. Programming is done. So which engine do you think is going to win, my friends? Do you think it's going to be the Amtrak? That. Berkshire? Class 68? Class 66 or the Class A4 Union of South Africa. Leave your ideas or answers in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified of the channel. It's just a click of a button. And before the race begins, I actually want to point out that there is something that I've actually noticed about the American trains and the British trains. Can you guys think, think what that is? What's the difference between the British trains and the American trains? Can you see it at all? It's, it's quite obvious. I'll give you guys a few seconds to uh, work it out of what's different between the American trains and the British trains. Can you can, can you work that out? No? If you look closely, the American trains don't have buffers! That's the difference, my friends. That if you look at the British trains, they obviously have buffers, but the American trains don't have buffers. What do you think that is? Because they have knuckle couplers! What's the point of having buffers if you've got knuckle couplers? But here in Britain, we always use buffers. Buffers stop engines from crashing. Quote from Thomas the Tank Engine from Thomas and the Magic Railroad. But now that's over, let's start racing. Let's click the play button. Are you sure you want to race? Yes, please. Now we wait for a few minutes for the race to begin, and as always, you guys are aware that I will be driving the Superclass 47 when the race has started. Here we go, racing is begun! Now who's gonna win, my friends? Uh, oh, this is gonna be super interesting. Who's gonna be, who's winning at the moment? It's the American Freight Train, which I don't know the name of it. God, look at all these trains set off, this is amazing. Right, I'm gonna be driving, technically, I think we've got like three British diesels at the moment, haven't we? Right, uh, Superclass 47, uh, don't let me down now. So who's in the lead at the moment? It's the American Freight Train. I do not see the American Electric Locomotive. That's starting off very slowly. I think they're all starting off pretty slow to you, if I have to be honest. Now, the Class 68, I've never actually had this in a race before, so I'm hoping it will do well. Class 66 is very slow behind, and the A4 Union of South Africa is very far behind. But she might catch up, I don't know. Okay, Class 68 is starting to pick up a bit more speed. Class 66 is falling behind quite a lot. That's not good. But I'll tell you what, the Class 68 actually looks really cool, especially in this nice Scott Rail livery. I quite like it. Right, so here we go. I think Britain is now in the lead. <laughs> Let's have a look far behind. Um, oh, dear. That's not looking good. Hold on. What's going on back there? Oh, God, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Let's have a look all the way back here. How are the other engines doing? Union of South Africa is far behind, not doing very well. Berkshire is doing quite well, but the surprisingly Amtrak, the electric locomotive, isn't doing that well, is it? Hmm, it's quite far behind. I'm very surprised for the Union of South Africa. I mean, you're a streamlined A4. Why are you so far behind? I don't know. Right, let's apply the brakes just a little bit. Let's give uh, the other trains a chance to catch up. So, in first place is the Class 68. Let's have a look at the Class 66. Class 66 is in second place. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I do love the Class 66, especially in that uh, EWS livery. The American freight train's not doing very well. It's very slow. It's not pulling that much freight, but it's still quite slow. Oh, the Amtrak is catching up. She's got a bit of speed now. Here we go. That's more like it. Berkshire is in second to last. And in last place is the Union of South Africa. Bit sad. Look at all these different trains, like, like all separated from the different racetrack. This is amazing. So far, the Class 68 is way in the lead right now. Even though it's pulling some coaches... It's, it's doing amazingly well. But what about the other trains? Let's have a look in the distance. Uh, 66 is in th uh, second place. But I believe... Oh, God, I am keep pressing the wrong buttons. Let's go all the way back here. Let's have a quick look. I think the Amtrak is going to overtake the Class 66. It, it, it's catching up. Now, this is a race I'm interested in. Look at that. This is where the electric train um, swipes the rest of the steam power and the diesel power. Because they are high-speed trains. Absolutely. God, that looks really cool right now, how the Amtrak is overtaking the Class 66. 
Where is the Union of South Africa? I cannot see them. They're too they're too far behind. I can't see them. Right, I'm going to wait here for the other trains to catch up. Um, so let's have a look. The Class 68 is in the lead at going at tremendous speed. But the Amtrak uh, electric train is still catching up. And in third place is the EWS Class 66. Uh, fourth place is the American freight train, which I don't know the name of. And I cannot see... The Union of South Africa or Berkshire Steam Loka. Uh, Steam Power is in last place. We all kind of knew that, didn't we? Oh, I hear the Amtrak coming up and it's coming up fast. There she is. Whoa! How fast is the electric power going? It's going over 100 miles per hour. But I don't know where the class 68 is. I've lost it, guys. I've lost it. I'm going to have to speed up to try and find it. So goodbye to the Amtrak. i got to go now. Got to catch up to the class 68 because I don't know where it is. Who's this in the distance? It's the Union of South Africa. I can tell by the streamlining. Uh, where is Berkshire? Is she in last place? Oh, she is. Union of South Africa is no longer in last place. But it's Steam Power is in last place. I mean, both Steam Power are are out of the race. We all kind of knew that already. Right, let's apply the brakes just a little bit because I think the class 68 might win this race. Although the Amtrak is catching up and catching up fast. Now you guys are probably thinking that it's very unfair that I've used the Class 68 in today's race. But the thing is, I've never used the Class 68 yet and I thought it would be a quite a fun idea if we used the Class 68 in today's race. So, I hope you guys can forgive me. I mean, I think I thought it was a cool idea, but... Some of you might disagree. Right, so let's apply the brakes. So the Superclass 47 is out. Uh, oh, it's very close between um, the Amtrak train and the Class 68. Remember, it's the first train to stop, my friends. And here we go. Who's going to stop first? Is it Amtrak or the Class 68? It's very close between these two, though. Oh, the buffers are in the way. And I believe in first place is the Class 68. And in second place is the Amtrak ACS 64. Just park it right there, Amtrak. You've done very well. And stop. Lovely. God, those two, these, these, these two trains, they, they do look very similar, don't they? I mean, it's a shame that this doesn't have a pentagraph, though, because then this would make it an electric train. But it's a diesel train, so it's a bit sad, isn't it? And who's going to be in third place? Uh, oh, wow, Union South Africa is overtaking a few trains. It's overtaking the American Freight, which I don't know the name of. Uh, will it overtake the Class 66? Probably not, because the Class 66 is coming in now. But we don't know, actually. It might be close. I mean, let's have a look at the Union of South Africa. Looking very nice there. Very good. Oh, it's very close. It is very close between these two. Who is going to stop first? The Union of South Africa or the Class 66? Oh, could, could it be a tie? We have had ties before. Which one is going to stop first? This is so close. This is so close. Oh, my God. Who's going to stop first? Who's going to stop first? Oh, who is it? Who is it? I can't see. It is the Union of South Africa for third place. And in fourth place is the Class 66. That was very close. And in fifth place is the American Freight BNSF Freight Train, which I don't know the name of this locomotive, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, fifth place. Very nice. Now, who? hold on. Who are we missing? Oh, it's Berkshire. We're, we're missing the Berkshire. Yes. So in first place is the Class 68. Second place was this, the ACS 64. Third place, Union of South Africa. Fourth place, Class 66. Fifth place was that. And in last place was the Berkshire. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's still got a bit of journey ahead, but you know, it's it's almost here. But this was a really fun race. I mean, I for one super enjoyed making this. I mean, I do love it when I do these races because you know they're experimental, and this is the first time that we actually had a 68, a Class 68 in our races. So. I might do some more races with the Class 68 in the future because this one does have potential. And I do like the design of it as well. And I like I like the livery on this train as well. I mean, I, I don't know what you guys think, but I actually really like this train. Well, locomotive, sorry. And here is Berkshire in last place. But that was still fun. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just park it there, Berkshire. Very nice. Lovely. Well done. Well done indeed. This, this was a good race. If you guys did enjoy this race, make sure you click that like button and um, just let me know in the comment section below if you guys did enjoy this race. You know, it gives me good feedback. Feedback's good. I do like feedback. 
But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links you need to know are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. Goodbye. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I'm actually using a different chair right now because, um... My gaming chair sadly broke, One, uh, two of its wheels fell off, and I'm actually using this, um, this old wooden chair. It's very comfortable, but it's, um, it's not my style. It's comfy though, but a bit squeaky. Sounds weird, isn't it? things sort of